Hi Gemini, what's up? Welcome to your October reading. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to be taking a look into what you can expect in the month of October. I will be doing things just a little bit differently today. I started off by just getting into the energy, your pre-shuffle with the everything oracle, and then we're going to get into the animal, the tarot, all that jazz, just like I thought to like kind of save a little bit of time just to pull these cards off camera. All right, so just, just extra messages extra insights extra confirmation this may resonate with the reading this may be just side messages we'll see what comes out but so starting off your first card out was the truth will come out number 99 y'all are gonna get to the bottom of some truths okay truth bombs are dropping and um you know we do have that full moon energy upon us actually officially like the, it is a full moon right now the moon's in aries um it will reach its fullest on the 17th but honestly full moon vibes it's in the air truth will come out <laughs> um especially with that aries energy it's just it's just gonna be dropped hot heavy powerful unexpected so you know the truth y'all it's coming out it's coming on out and then the next card this came out for leo as well completion or closure so i'm seeing that with this whole truth coming out there is a cycle closing there is finally answers there are finally closure that has set you free oh, huge weight's been lifted honestly and it just this is a beginning of something new right with every door that closes something new opens something new begins so this is really powerful this is meant to be that's the next card that came out this is all happening for your highest good everything that's unfolding is meant to be the timing is meant to be this way um yeah it's just like it feels like here and what number is this number 62 it just feels like this is a perfect timing and like everything's aligning the next card out was communication so it's like this is a conversation that you're having with someone or in the near future there will be some sort of talk or the talk you and someone having the talk um very intense conversation but it's going to just air out all the business air out all the tea all the all the secrets um some of y'all <laughs> you're getting a refund or there's something about you getting your money back or if there is something owed to you like an apology or just like obviously you can't get time back but you can get money back and you know <laughs> something about a refund and whenever this card comes out i do also read it as like hey if you have like you know a, um a, a, no, i was gonna say a cycle if you have a like a membership or like a subscription you know um, a member yeah like you know what i mean like fucking netflix subscription or something like that and if you're if you forgot to cancel here's your reminder right if you got like a 30-day trial at some place costco membership like i don't know y'all but um you this may be also like a message like hey refund get your money back or maybe you gotta like make a return or something like that just like a little extra message um this may not relate to what we just said about like the whole truth will come out completion closure communication meant to be like for some you are finally getting like a return or like a refund or like you know you're finally getting something back um everything comes full circle what you put out comes back around and you're getting your return you're getting your refund then we have move on <laughs> okay so then you get your refund now move along right move on time to keep going time to keep your head forward and keep you know move on like experience says okay you got your answers you this cycle's now completed it's closed out you communicated you're getting some communication you're getting the refund you got your money back now psh, quiet move on <laughs> just, not, just kidding you don't have to be quiet but it's just like okay you know like if you're complaining uh you know you want you want to, to return an item that you bought and maybe it wasn't up to your expectations maybe it was broken okay here you go here's your ref refund now stop complaining and move the fuck on <laughs> not saying that to you but that that's just like hey why did i do that why did i swap those cards i don't know at the bottom we had students so this is definitely like a learning moment as well as even if you are a student shout out to you if you're going back to school if you're studying something or hey if you've been guided towards studying something you're considering like you know trying something new or learning something definitely this is a time to expand on that to explore this like maybe something that is connected to like your life purpose the next thing we had was i'm only gonna pull two three more two more cards from this unrequited or on balance and then we have friendships so definitely be mindful of like relationships friendships especially that are like um one-sided or unbalanced maybe this is through school shout out to those that are in school or again studying or something like that 
perhaps there are some uh, friendships you're getting a refund on <laughs> or you're moving on you, you know what you're moving on to bigger better things right so do be mindful of that just extra little messages may not resonate with this reading it might just be extra um maybe just a little confirmation like you know those things so um I'm gonna show me these cards all up here let's get into the animal cards let's see what they have to say and yeah so anyways if you enjoyed this reading let me know leave a like comment subscribe if you'd like to book a private reading with me the info's in the description box down below um yeah we're gonna see what's going on for you throughout the rest of october we're currently in the middle literally like halfway through the month so Let's make the other half of October a good one. So we see what's going on for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the month of October 2024. Second half of October for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. What do y'all need to know? We have the starfish as your first card out. Element of water. When I said element, it made me think of element of surprise. Element of surprise. Um, all right. Show me clearly what's going on for Gemini in the month of October. Look, cosmic egg, which is all about completion, all about transformation, all about reaching the end of one cycle and transitioning to a new one. And then we have the hyena under here. Interesting. So let's see. I am seeing like there is. It, you kind of start off with like feeling a little bit doubtful or a little bit like scared or a little uncomfortable like you're feeling very vulnerable out in the open okay you're feeling very much like exposed like for all of you all of you like that song all of me <laughs> not that song but like why did that come to mind i don't know you're feeling really vulnerable though and like there's something you're very hopeful about you're optimistic but at the same time like i think you could be concerned about something that's just more on like the surface level it's just like it's the very tip of the iceberg it's like there's so much more beneath but whatever it is that you could be worrying or stressing about or a little nervous about it's it's more just like on the surface it's, it's saying like it's not that deep although it is deep but i'm sure it's deep to you but in the grand scheme of things or in like the bigger picture this it's not as deep Apparently it's not as deep. Um, <laughs> therefore, the cosmic egg, starfish to the cosmic egg. I was like, all right, I guess uh, you are reaching this awareness, and there's this acceptance, and there's just like this forward movement. Honestly, like you've learned some sort of lesson. This taught you all you need to le needed to know, um, you know, and you're recognizing like the lessons that came through this experience, and I just see you're ready for like new things or just wanting like something different because I i'm kind of sensing here there's a little bit of like annoyance or agitation with the hyena like you try and paint it off like you're cool and everyone's fine and like nothing's bothering you or getting you down but you are kind of like i don't know if you're being passive aggressive or if you're like making little jokes here like i don't know if you're posting things on like your instagram story kind of like hinting at what's going on or kind of like you know throwing a little shade here i don't know if you're doing that but sh yeah, calling you out if you are <laughs> the hyena can sometimes be a little petty a little scrappy a little um you know a little dirty play a little dirty sometimes um a little shadowy sometimes the hyena um well the the way they kind of like will move around like an uncomfortable situation right the starfish would kind of represents this awkwardness this discomfort um the way that the hyena kind of its usual tactic is through like humor or being kind of dry kind of witty um not being too too serious about it so when this card comes out it's like whatever the situation is that is on your hands on your plate how could you approach this in more of like a serious manner a more tactful or like a more practical approach um because something is bothering you when this card comes out something is bothering you are you being honest are you being direct are you just making little sly comments here and there are you trying to shrug it off You're like i'm not mad what's wrong it's like <laughs> I'm so sorry oh my god i almost hit Imagine if my moonstone just fell out, I would have cried. Okay, it, you know, when someone's like, obviously they're in a bad mood, and you ask them, like, what's wrong? And they're like, nothing. It's like, yo, like, I know something's wrong. So just come out and just say it, you know? So I don't know if that's you, I don't know if that's somewhere you're connected with, but that's kind of the energy of the hyenas. So um, I am seeing, like, you just want whatever this is, you just want this to be done over with behind you. You just want to move on. You just want this to be cleared up, 
move, you know, smooth sail and moving forward. And, you know, Heine is kind of just a little bit irritable. Like, come on, like, let's get this over and done with. Can we just get to the bottom? Can we just, you know, so... And at the bottom, we have the crocodile, which is all about just like observing and kind of rest, recuperation, being still. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that you may or may not be aware of. So you are needing to like definitely, you know, be on the lookout. And there is this sense of like anticipation of what's yet to come. And even crocodiles, like they can move very fast. They can move so, 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 so. But then on just like an instant, boom, they'll snap at you. Or the, you know, I don't, I don't know. I've never actually, the only time I've seen a crocodile is in a zoo. So like, you know, I, I don't know the ways exactly, but you don't want to fuck around with a crocodile, a little croque. Um, cobra and the bat. Yeah, like I'm seeing there's big, big soul lessons that you're going through, learning and transforming from and really just leveling up there is such energy of like advancements and moving up to the next level and it's asking you also just like to confront your shadow or confront like in ways that maybe you've been handling things not the best or like ways that you can improve um or they just be all about you you yourself how you deal with yourself your insecurities are you being kind and loving compassionate yourself or are you beating yourself down being your own worst hater or are you being your own bestie um this can also just be talking about how you interact with other people in the world in your relationships friendships right remember we did have that card come about come out about friendships that are unrequited so it's like are you have you had those discussions have you communicated this have you confronted this have you addressed this have you just kept your mouth shut have you been kind of acting a bit sly a little bit petty like you know like being brave enough to confront these things and you know if these are real genuine friendships you know then something's got to balance on out and if these are real genuine people that are meant to be in your life again it doesn't even have to be about friendships it could be about love it could be about family not so much like business or you know because <laughs> it's not it's not personal when it comes to business and money you know in some ways sure but in other ways not really like money's money um but like you know if these are people that are meant to be in your life having those tough conversations isn't going to break a real bond you know like a true bond can't be broken depends on what it is but again communication can definitely resolve a lot of issues i forgot who i was reading for for a second it's gemini i just did leo's reading um i guess i'm gonna use this deck to start off your reading that's just intuitively what i was drawn to i have a couple that are out here on my table and i just my hand went straight to the gilded so let's see what your messages are gemini also i apologize i'm like a day late on your reading it was Thanksgiving over here in Canada. Yes, we celebrate it <laughs> a month early because um, we get snow early here most of the times. Um, so yeah, I was a bit behind on the schedules, but it is what it is. Thank you for being here. I appreciate every one of you. But yeah, let's see. What's going on for Gemini? Second half of October for Gemini. Okay, this deck's ready. So let's get into this. Lovers, there's your energy, Gemini. Relationships on the forefront of all kinds. But, um, you know, definitely also your energy here in your zone, in your flow. What's going on for Gemini? <laughs> all right, what do we have here? First of all, com this card, if, I know y'all can't see you. Um, the completion and closure with the truth will come out. This card fell out like this, okay? And this is the page of wands. So that's your first card out. Then we have this little stackaroo. Let's see. We have the Seven of Wands. We have then the King of Swords. Okay, well, that makes sense why these two came out together because this literally goes hand in hand. Okay, so and then we have the oh wow, the Nine of Wands. Well, that makes sense too. I'm kind of feeling oh, the fool at the bottom. So, how do I want to put this? Because it kind of is feeling here. Well, we're, whatever, we'll just read it in the order it came out. So Page of Wands, right? Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sag, or Leo. Page of Wands is somebody who is very friendly. They're very fun, bubbly. They're very lighthearted. They aren't super serious. <laughs> they kind of want to just like 
stay on the surface, you know, kind of coast along. Um, they're fun, they're playful, they're harmless. Most of the time they're harmless. They like to throw around some jokes here and there. They like to keep things light and airy and fresh and warm and fun. Like, that's just like your page of wands. Typically also known to be like the good news card, but this is definitely talk about, you know, communication, a message, um, an invite, right? You're being invited or somebody here is definitely initiating something here. Then we have the next cards that came out. We got the seven of wands. We have the king of swords and the nine of wands. Okay, so this this is definitely giving a person this heavy air energy. So I'm going to assume that this is your energy, Gemini, especially with the king of swords. That is Aquarius specifically, but also Libra and you, Gemini. Um, also, you're swarmed with all this fire energy coming at you. But so just if this is one person, this is someone who has very very firm boundaries so fucking strong like nothing they have armor they have shield like nothing can bust this person's bubble this person is energetically so protected they are not afraid to cut off this person is not afraid to call people out on their shit this is someone who's very blunt very straight to the point um they don't care if they come across like a, an asshole like they're just being honest this person's just truthful and they'll call it out and say it how it is and this is somebody who can be a bit rigid on the outside or they have a bit of um you know, I would also say that this person's very reserved, or whoever the, whoever we're talking about. This is somebody who's very much on like on guard, on protection mode. Definitely, they've gone through a lot in their shit, and they're, they've gone through a lot of shit in their life. Is what I meant to say. They are a bit wounded. They are still healing from that, and therefore, this person is not. They take their peace very seriously it's like you cannot mess with my peace you cannot mess with my energy you cannot mess with my vibe if you try i will remove and like you are gone you are banished <laughs> like this is someone who is very 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 tight on their boundaries and they they see one red flag they're gone they're out like this person really really is like you know they they have no problem being alone or going against the grain or you know this person has dealt with a lot of doubt in their life whether it was self-doubt or doubt from other people but this is somebody who was always um rising up to do better this is somebody who's very strong mind very strong willed and they're just this is a person with strong powerful force and this is somebody who is very serious <laughs> very serious okay so then we have that page of wands so this is definitely a, a this page of wands more free more lighter more bubbly airy um, just like a warm breeze on a cold winter day. Like, this is a Chinook kind of energy. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have this person over here being like, on guard, red alert, on the defense. So, yeah, I'm seeing, like, there's two different energies here. So, either you are this Pedro Wands person, you're like, yeah, I'm bubbly, I ain't on guard, I'm very warm, I just want to talk, I just want to have a convo, a little chat, a little yap sesh. And then there's a person over here who's like, what do you want? Why are you calling me? Hold on, can this focus? What do you want? What are you calling me? I want the truth and not, nothing but the truth. You better not be blowing smoke up my ass. <laughs> okay? So I'm seeing that there's kind of like this, there's these two different energies, two different people. Okay? And I would say, based off the animal cards and looking into your energy with the starfish and the hyena, I would say you're more this king of swords seven of wands nine of wands person i would say that you are this over the page of wands if the, i had different animal cards what was at the bottom did i check that the yeah crocodile cobra bat yeah i would say that you're oh did i knock this i would say you are this king of swords person especially because that is air it is fire air combination though so who knows let's see how this unfolds you're gonna know who's who in this reading and if you don't know and you're like i don't know who, i don't then it's not probably for you okay but you can still hang around. I still appreciate you. Or you can skid out of someone else or check out your other placements. So here we have the full also at the bottom. So this is indicating like definitely new energy, new cycle in the air. Um, this is Aries energy. So shout out to that full moon in the sky right now. Y'all better go take a look at her and admire her beauty because goddamn, she's gorgeous. Anyway, so full moon in Aries, all about new beginnings. Um, I believe that six months from now, we, well, well, on that new moon in Aries, I was talking to someone earlier today. They were saying it's a solar eclipse in Aries. I was like, really? Like, I thought it was. I thought we're moving into Pisces, like solar eclipse in Pisces. But I could be wrong. Anyways, um, definitely this full moon in Aries is gonna be very poignant. Very much like a marking point. Six months from now, we will look back at. Be like, what seeds did we plant? 
end of October, what was going on around October 2024, this will be a moment that you do look back at and it's all going to kind of like unfold and connect and make sense. So just saying, pay attention to what is starting or beginning during this time because it is going to play out over the next six months. Okay, okay, dokie. <laughs> Look, Aries energy again with the Emperor. So this may be in terms of your career. I am seeing that like something about a job, a position, or just like a higher ranking, uh, more confidence. You're more assured of yourself. You're building something here, like I'm, like big networks, big communities, bridging some sort of gap, finding solutions as well as like people being able to rely on you. Or you're just a very, very, very important person with a lot of duty, a lot of responsibility, you have a lot on your shoulders. You have some sort of plan here, um, like a blueprint that you are starting to lay the foundation for. You're starting to create, you're getting this vision of your new life and what you want to expand on. It's just really amazing, amazing ideas that are floating around your head. And one, one more, not a pentacle, slow, steady, assured, grounded, consistent, ready to complete this trial and error and just like you know you've been doing a lot of practice and practice makes perfect so very wild very interesting um extra kind of messages doesn't really feel related to what we were just talking about earlier with these cards so let's see what else wants to come out all right what's going on for gemini in the month of october i did hear august i know that back in august i can't remember how often this happened but it was a few times where i want to say october and now like i'm saying october i'm like i want to say august or like aug october like august october combine it like i'm wondering if there's like energies that are connected to that month for someone or there's like i don't know that's you let me know <laughs> all right ten of swords so definitely completion ending vibes we have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom, so definitely showing a big turning point. And what's this one card sticking out here? Let's see. Judgment! Yeah, this is big turning point energy. And there's actually one more. Oh, oh, Devil and the King of Cups. Um, especially when in terms of like emotional attachments that were unhealthy or codependencies or uh, even going back to the, the whole like unrequited or unbalanced relationships or friendships like it is kind of showing that this is what is closing out something in your life that's been harming you or very very affecting like your mental health or like there's been some sort of obsession for some of y'all or something that has been like very very difficult to break away from or at least like take your emotions out of the picture like it's just been too much it's been really so anyways um this ending oh what did it go oh my god judgment's flying away this ending is meant to be right or this this whole completion this closure this cycle is literally meant to be okay okay so you know it, this could be you where you're really going back to these king of swords seven nine of ones ten of swords you're like yeah you know what this this cycle is done we ain't going back there's no turning back this is finished like that could be what you're saying here you know you're refusing like we ain't going back there's no turning back like let me see what was underneath the wheel of fortune because judgment was the one that was sticking out so wheel of fortune you go you know you've gone through some big life-changing moments and oh my god literally the tower underneath that yeah like you are not the same person you were six months ago a month ago like i'm seeing wow there's my dog going crazy sorry about that <sighs> there were there sorry there were a lot of life-changing moments and probably con continuing in october um it just created this whole ripple effect and i'm seeing changes in a family in a loving relationship there was something about this that just changed or i don't know if it was for, i mean this is with the, the ten of swords so i'm like I'm seeing this came to an end here and this is being brought up or this is what's ending in october like some of y'all already gone through this ending this is just like you know reminder ref reflection and this is why you are guarded or why you're like hell no this door is locked for some reason this is coming back up though i guess it was maybe it's about a new beginning or initiating something or recreating um something better or like you know rebuilding because obviously when the tower comes out it's about like rebuilding something that wasn't stable and this is an opportunity to like build into something different um so who knows who knows 
but basically i i really do see like you've reached the finish line or you you're really just determined to not go back to how it was before like things will never be the same again and that's probably for the best <laughs> probably for the best okay so then then what else do we got for gemini does doesn't the swords on this ten of swords doesn't the little the top of it it reminds me of the evil eye like you know the evil eye protection kind of reminds me just like the tip of the sword it looks like a bunch of evil eyes so i'm like i feel like the you know endings that you are going through in october slash endings that you've gone through just point blank in your life it has been like divine protection um you know things could have been a whole lot worse if you stuck around or you know things went differently i feel like you know the divine was just really looking out for you and that this just had to come to an end um okay what else do you have for gemini in october 2024 seven of pentacles there are you know like there are some endings that you are expecting or you're there's something you're expecting out of this ending or there's something you're expecting to receive you're expecting some sort of return or <laughs> remember the refund right you're expecting to get your money back like especially if somebody does owe you money or borrowed something or even if it's like a car or something i don't know or even like a pet like i know sometimes people in relationships who have pet together um and then if they go their separate ways like well who's gonna take the pet who's gonna so some of y'all it's like you know but i see like a refund getting a refund or if it's money that's owed or if it's like an item that you want back or like a gift you even gave like you are expecting a return you the queen of cups at the bottom with the nine of cups so you definitely have high hopes for the future where you're headed where you're going mm -hmm. and you will know that there's some really amazing love coming in whether you know this person already or this is someone that you are calling in and manifesting attracting you know your vision you know what you want you're gonna call it in right this is something that you are manifesting slash is already unfolding already developing so um let me see there's two of cups the five of pentacles and then the knight of wands so some of y'all um another message i'm seeing here it's like some of you could be expecting a reunion at some point in your journey you're expecting that that could be part of this wish fulfillment if that's what you want you know that's not gonna be for everybody because i'm a oh my god my dog won't stop barking who the hell are you barking at girl some a, a big chunk of what i was picking up from earlier this king of swords energy heavy guarded walls up never going back that message isn't for you right so this is where you have to as a listener you have to use your discernment of what is for you what isn't because not everything's gonna be for you and sometimes the readings sometimes the message will be conflicting themselves and i gotta just read them like i can't just bend the meaning of the car and be like oh my god like ten of swords this is your soulmate like the fuck no it ain't and there are it blows my mind some of the especially like on tiktok i don't use tiktok anymore um I just i just don't but i know i remember seeing i'm like on a tangent right now but i remember seeing like people that really be twisting like how do you get like sometimes it just baffles my mind like how the fuck did you get that message from that card like what but uh, hey who am i to judge who am i to judge right some people will be reading intuitively but like come on ten of swords you can't be like oh my god woo you're so happy and celebrate bitch no look you're suffering you're going through an ending like this is painful right so but you know what well i will say with the seven pentacles coming out after the ten of swords like maybe you expected this ending but you are also expecting like better things to come or like you know this isn't entirely a surprise to you or huh <laughs> i'm sorry gemini what the hell am i i don't know let's get focused back on you what's going on for gemini in october 2024 what's going on for gemini in the month of october oh six of wands interesting and you know what i was gonna say before the six of wands came out but i was like let me just shuffle and then i'll tell it's like every setback is the setup for your biggest comeback and i was really drawn to the ladder that climbs up the stream that's literally what my mind was thinking is like every setback every loss every painful experience that you went through is setting you up for your biggest comeback around your biggest like you know you may have hit rock bottom you may have wanted to quit or give up on life or you thought like this is it i'm done i'm never doing this again i'm never finding love again i'm quitting i'm done with life but like you know what this is like 
your biggest comeback and i'm seeing with the seven of pentacles and the six of wands there is much 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 deserved recognition and success that's just coming right on in like just flowing to you because of all the effort that you've put in and like who you are as a person inside and out like you truly deserve this recognition you truly deserve this acknowledgement and this like praise and just like support and like you have come so far on your journey and you've built all this yourself like you look you got all this animals in the back like you're not alone or you're coming into a time where you are being cheered on and supported and uplifted and you know i feel like you are inspiring a lot of people whether they are strangers whether they are people that have seen you throughout the, your entire life or someone that you just met recently like i just see like you're inspiring and your energy is so warm and welcoming and you're just you're a great leader and you know there's just something about your aura that just draws people in it's very magnetic it's just very beautiful oh and look here we have the fool at the bottom so i just i see wherever you're headed in october lots of new doors are opening up for you and you know you're just winning at life you, you truly are thriving and let's see the the fool we have these six of swords you oh my god like look at where are you headed the, look there's an offer look at this you have an offer coming in that you don't expect you don't see this coming gemini so here you, yeah you know that you you know you deserve good things you know that you're a good person you know you've been putting that work you know you know what the fuck you you know your shit like you know you just know and you kind of you got an idea of where you're headed where you're going what you would like to have more of and what you're changing what you're moving off from like you know you know that right you know where you're going and also you're just like <sighs> moving to calmer waters more peace in your life more success like just more seamless like drama free easy breezy effortless but what you don't see what you don't see literally there is an offer we're gonna see what this is there is some sort of offer coming on in it's a surprise offer it just kind of pulls you out of your own whatever it is that you are focusing on right she as you can see this person they're like reading a book they're just in their own zone you know they, this this is you you're like yeah i know what i have i know what i want this is where i'm at this is what i come from this is what i went through this is the lesson this is the pain this is who i am this is what changed me you know and you're just kind of doing your thing you're like, yeah i know where i'm going i know what i want right <laughs> what we just said and then the universe like surprise here we have this offer presenting itself pulling you out of your focus right here you are you're going down this river you're like yeah i know where i'm going i know what i want i'm feeling good about this i'm excited about this new and the universe like oh hey tap 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 on your shoulder like hey we got this for you here you go what let's see what this is i have no idea Oh, oh, this is definitely a divine calling. Look at this. Judgment underneath the four of cups. They, you do not see this coming, but this is unexpected. And it's always like when when callings happen, they come up randomly on just like a regular, regular day. Like it could be just like a Tuesday, 2 p.m. You know, like it just happens randomly on just like a regular day. It just happens when you least expect it. Like, let me tell you, this channel, which I've been doing now for like five years, it's crazy, 2019. I randomly, literally, I think it was like a Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know. But I just was like, you know what? I'm going to start a YouTube channel. We're going to do terror. Why not? It was random. As, I didn't think it was going to make this much of an impact. Or I didn't think it would reach this many people. I'm like, I'm so grateful you're here. So like, it, literally this calling. This, this is a calling. This is connected to your soul's purpose. You are being offered something that will change your life. Let's see what this is though. Judgment. Oh, it could be love, Knight of Cups. Perhaps this is about new love, new romance, the person of your dreams, your soulmate. Okay, let's see underneath that. Death. Okay, seriously, there is. So basically, you know, you're just minding your business, you're doing your thing, and then you knock, knock, knock. Universe has something really beautiful, someone who is coming on into your life that will change your life for the fucking better. Probably in Scorpio season scorpio energy with that this is probably when the sun moves into scorpio which is not that long from now we almost had a libra season wow okay like seriously okay let's see what's underneath that ten of cups okay so gemini get ready this is uh, your life is taking a wild turn for the better 
more love, more joy, more happiness, more pleasure, more connection, more stability and abundance too. But this, I'm like, I do see abundance. I definitely do see, um, you know, again, refunds, <laughs> return of money, getting exp like you're, you're getting what you expect and more, but like, wow, like you truly have such blessings and good fortune coming in and fulfillment in all your love and relationships. It's going to be such a huge change of energy and it's going to feel really good really good yeah you feel like you're floating <laughs> and this is all divinely orchestrated and you're being intuitively guided to this right it may not make sense you may not know exactly how it's all gonna happen but you feel this calling you feel this push you feel like you're being guided towards this amazing amazing stuff so yeah it's just you have a lot of surprises coming in but they're good surprises and yeah i feel like you're gonna just be really really welcoming in so i don't know what i'm sorry i didn't like look into a whole like the truth will come out or who is this message that wants to come on in i don't really think any of that matters because at the end of the day wherever you're headed wherever you're going it's it's so beautiful and um you have a lot to look forward to and uh, you just gotta trust yourself there's some closure coming out you know how to handle it you don't need me to like explain like oh well, this person's gonna say this and they're gonna try and do it. like you don't need to worry about that stuff you need to just worry about you and where you're headed where you're going because i see you come into a lot of fucking success a lot and you don't have time for distractions right now so keep moving on right remember that one last card move on right <laughs> all right communicate speak your thoughts speak your truths share your thoughts share your heart and then move along right keep on moving you're gonna get your refund <laughs> okay so I don't know, that's what I got for you, but I hope that this is helpful. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you again for all of your love and support, Gemini. Truly, truly appreciate you. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll catch you in your next reading. Bye, Gemini.